The whale is a beautiful and majestic creature, but sometimes its beauty and comfort is marred by the presence of barnacles on its surface. Turns out humans get a version of barnacles too, and I have a whale of a tale about mine. When I have a slightly embarrassing skin issue, I like to talk to Dr. David Bank, my dermatologist. I can tell him anything. He's almost more like a shrink than a derm. Oh my God, she's back in the office again? This one is a wacko. I'm here today because I have some really ugly, splotchy looking things on my back. You? Impossible. It's possible. Yeah. David, you told me that these are called seborrheic keratoses. What the heck is that? Those are common spots that basically most of us get with time that are just overgrowths of dead skin cells that come to the top. They should fall off, but they get a little sticky and they just stack up on themselves. Oh my God, they're so nasty. You guys, <laughs> is this uh, genetic? issue? It's a combination of genetic, but it is so common that basically we see it in many lighter skinned people. Is there anything that I could have done to prevent them? Is this sun induced in any way? It's a combination again of genetics as you mentioned and certainly sun exposure. So if you had a time machine and could go back and you wore all the sunscreen you should have been wearing yeah. back then, then you probably would have a lot fewer, but it wouldn't necessarily be none. Uh, so how are we going to treat this? Because it's, I mean, really, you guys, when you see it, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, that's pretty gross. Well, okay. First important point, though, is they don't technically have to be treated because the good news is they're not dangerous to your health. However, a lot of people like yourself don't like them, so they'd like them to remove. Um, there are a number of different ways to do that. Probably one of the simplest is just something called old-fashioned old liquid nitrogen which is just nitrogen gas from the air chilled to be super cold, and we just touch them with a little Q-tip, stings for a second. They're not gone immediately, but then over the next week or so, they scab and fall off. That is so sexy. Um, and what are the other ways you can treat them? Uh, they can be treated using uh, electrocautery and also with laser. What is the least painful method? Um, that's they, what I want. <laughs> they, it all stings a little bit, but um, they're all really honestly about the same. No. Should I be treated with narcotics before we remove them? Yes. In fact, we'll get you some propofol <laughs> and uh, you'll have a really fun time. Um, I'll, I'll take some too. No. <laughs> Very cold, it's so cold sometimes people say it feels hot. So it might sting a little, here we go. Help, I need somebody, Help, not just anybody. Help, you know I need someone. Help, when I was young, I so much stronger than today. Never needed anybody's help in any way. Ah! Okay. <laughs> You're doing fantastic. What? Right? There's more? How much more? Are we halfway there? We're more than halfway okay, there. I can We're handle almost it. Almost done. I can take it. I can take it. But now these days are gone and I'm not so self-assured. I find I changed my mind. I've opened up the doors. What happens now? Basically, you don't have to think about them. It's maintenance-free, as I said before. So bottom line is you can run, jump, swim, play, do whatever you want. And over the next few days to a week or so, you're just going to make little scabs, crust up, fall off. The only thing I ask is, please don't pick up them. David, if somebody wanted your services, what would they do? Well, 
they could go to our website, which is thecenterforderm.com, or they could just call us at 914-241-3003. Oh, oh, you dick. <laughs> That's Dr. Dick to you. <laughs>